Hey guys, I'm going to do part, part 5 of uh, Blue Way Collection. Guys, I did the past four parts and they seem to be doing pretty well with the reviews. So I'm going to keep doing the series. So I'm going to buy the stack and I'm going to be talking about them. Because. Find these videos fun, and I find them fun to film and talk about. So first up, and maybe not a good example to start off, but you know, sometimes you have good start off with showing videos, the beginning of the part, then you have bad movies to show off first. But I guess it's kind of good to get over with. So first up is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Now this is probably one of the worst Transformers films, to be honest with you. It's like really messy. It doesn't really make sense, but it was kind of so bad it was good. And like aspects, I mean, it kind of tried on making a competent movie, maybe a little bit, but I don't think so. I think there's like a wider strike during this time too, so it showed you got disc one feature film and disc two bonus features. I'm not gonna show the inside because it's just text. Um or maybe I should if anybody is like interested in that. But I I own this movie because I'm a completionist. I own the other Transformers films, and I'm kind of like, you know, if I want to do a marathon one day of all five of these Michael Bay Transformers films, I'll probably do them, but I don't know if it's going to be a good marathon, like a fun one, or a frustrating bad marathon. But Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, a bad movie, but it might be a so bad as good movie. Some fun action scenes, but... Not really that good. Now for a much better movie, Unfaithfully, Unfaithfuls, uh, starring Richard Gere and Diane Lane. Um, it's the good psychological thriller from I believe 2002. Yep. Um, it's pretty intense. I'm not gonna explain the plot, of course, but like. It's a good movie. Um, so here's the disc. And you can tell that it's like an old um, Blu-ray because it has ads. Um, but uh, Unfaithful is a good good movie. Um, good cast, something. Um... Richard Gere and Diane Lane did a pretty good job in this movie. Um, it's a pretty good flower. Um, next one up is The Boondock Saints. Um, I only seen the first movie, so I haven't seen the second one. But this is like a fun action flick. Um, disturbing but it's like a fun flick there's a lot of dark humor in this movie it's like funny um it's a fun action flick um you got Willem Dafoe, Norman Reedus, Norman Reedus, uh Walking Dead and Sean Patrick Flanagan you guys know Norman Reedus, um Norman Reedus, um He's Daryl from The Walking Dead. Um, but uh, it's a good movie, and you guys definitely know going to film. Um, all three of them did pretty good in this movie. You got the disc all work. So, Blue Knock Saints, fun action flick. Norman Leas. Um, there you go. Leas. Yeah, Norman Leas. There you go. Uh, next one up is Eagle Eye with 
Shiloh Buff, Michelle Monahan, and Billy Bob Ford. And I haven't seen this movie yet, but it looks like a fun 2000 flick. It kind of looked like a Michael Bay movie, but I think it's going to be pretty fun. Um, get your blue light disc and a. So that's you I hope this is a fun movie. I haven't seen it though, but hopefully someday. Next one up is Homeland Season 2. I just heard about the show and it looked pretty interesting. So check it out though. I do know Damon Lewis. He was in Band of Butters and pretty He's a great actor in that, so, um, and then Claire Dance, she's a pretty good actress, um, too, so, um, I don't know, maybe this season's good, I haven't seen the show yet, so, I have no idea, I think it's like a spy espionage show, but I'm not sure, um, if you guys seen the show, please tell me down below if it's a good show or not. Good show. And, um, you know, so we got Monica. I forgot her last name, but she was in Deadpool. Um, she's a good actress at some other projects. Um, we got postcards. We got Disc one, this two, and this three them. So um, we got episode guides, and you got, I guess, more pictures. Um, so I guess this season's like a campaign uh, season, campaign for season. I know this is a political filler show, no, um, but it's Homeland Season 2. I'm um, looking forward to checking out the show. Um, the next one up is World War Z. Um, I haven't seen this movie yet. I mean, I've seen bits and pieces of it, but it looks like a pretty good zombie flick. You got Brad Pitt in there. Of course, Brad Pitt, um, he's a great actor, um, you know, that romantic relationship with Angelina Jolie was complicated, but I like him, and James, ba James Bashdale, he's a pretty good underrated actor, he's in a bunch of these action flicks, um, so here's the back here. I'm definitely looking forward to checking out the whole movie. Um, it looks pretty fun. Looks like a good movie. You got the 3D Blu-ray. You got the Blu-ray. The DVD of World War Z. Yeah, digital copy code. And other films included. So, World War Z, I haven't seen yet. But I do want to watch it. Looks like a good movie. Um, next one up is The Hangover. Um, this is a funny movie, but I don't even know why they made two more films afterwards. Because this could have been like a great standalone comedy, but I guess he did for the money business. For the studio wanting more money. Um... But this is a funny movie, though. Um, a great cast in there. And it's like a buddy road trip comedy, though. Got your disc, though. So The Hangover. It's a pretty funny movie. It's pretty good. Um, you got Ed Helms and Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. And, uh. Zach Galanetti, um, you got Zach, um, um, 
I say his name, last name, um, um, Gaffanatic, um, Heather Glam, Heather Glam, um, she's in the movie for a little bit, uh, pretty hot though, but it's the hangover. Next one up is Star Trek Into Darkness. Um, this is a pretty good sequel to the original Star Trek. Um, I know this was kind of um, controversial among fans, but I did enjoy this movie. It's a fun movie. Um, at the back here, again, good acting, good action scenes, and a fun villain. Um, on. Um, I would say I'm a casual Star Trek fan. I've seen some movies, but I'm not like a big Star Trek fan. But I do respect people's opinions about it. It's a good franchise for the most part. You got the Fuji Blu ray. Especially these new ones are pretty good. Get your Blu-ray disc and DVD disc. Uh, this is also a Blu-ray free combo pack. So you get all the discs in one. So Star Trek in the Darkness. It's a pretty good movie. Um, next one up is Now You See Me. Uh, this was a pretty good drama for magical magic tricks. Las Vegas magic shows, but in an actual movie, and it's like a mystery thriller. Uh, this was a pretty decent movie. I did enjoy this uh, one pretty much. Uh, you're gonna definitely see the sequel in a part. I don't know what part. Um, get your Blu-ray disc, DVD disc, digital copy code. I didn't like the sequel as much, but I thought the film was fine, fine, no. But Now You See Me is a fun, that's really forward. magic, magic show, twists and turns. Next one up is Doctor Strange. Um, this is a pretty good movie. Um, pretty fun superhero flick. Great acting, great special effects. It's your Blu-ray DVD disc. So that's Doctor Strange. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to move on quickly with these Blu-rays. Next one up is A Quiet Place. This is a great movie. You're gonna also see Doctor Strange too in a different part though. Um, but Doctor Strange is a good movie. And A uh, Quiet Place is a great movie. Um, great suspenseful thriller. Um, and you're going to see part two in a later part. Um, but um, great acting. Yeah. Like most of these movies, they have pretty decent uh, great acting in there. Um... Get your Blu-ray, DVD, and digital code. So, a Quiet Place is a great suspenseful thriller. I love this movie, um, like most people do. Um, next one up is Wobo. Now, Wobo um, was a 1980s movie starring Val Kilmer and... Warwick Davis. Um, this is like a 1980s flick. Looks like a fun, magical science fiction film. Uh, but I'm looking forward to checking it out though. Got your blue light disc and digital copy. So well, we're looking forward to checking it out. Next one up is Beating the Beast live action movie. I do own the original version on Blu-ray. You're going to see that during a um, 
during the later part. I also have like platinum editions, diamond edition collections, um, videos on my channel. So um, you guys can see that there. But this was a all white remake. Um, not as good as the original, but still fun in its own way. Um, most of these remakes are not that great from Disney, but this was fine, um, I guess. It's a fine remake. You got the digital codes and all the goodies. Uh, you got your Blu-ray and DVD. So, definitely a decent remake. It's well made, but it's definitely not better than the original. Definitely not. The original is a classic, but all white we make. Charming in its own right. Next one up is Dumbo. This is a classic movie, but there's some offensive um, characters in this movie. I'm not going to name it, but if you see this movie before, you probably know. And some stereotypes, but... Um, this is a pretty good movie about a flying elephant trying to overcome his overcome his dreams and they're sad, depressing parts, but they're also happy and cheerful ones, like a classic Disney movie is. So Dumbo, it's a pretty good movie. Um, and it's pretty short too for a Disney movie. You got your Blu-ray disc, DVD disc. So, um, it's Dumbo. Pretty good movie back in the day from back in the day. Next one up is the Wago Batman movie. Now, this is a pretty good movie. It's charming. It's funny. Um, it's like a parody of Batman, but it's way funnier than it needed to be. Definitely a big surprise when it came out, though. Um, I definitely recommend watching this film. If you want a good laugh, or if you're like a big Batman fan. So you got your Blu-ray disc, DVD disc. A really fun movie, digital copy photo. I'm a fan of most of the Lego movies, but uh, some of them are okay. But um, the Lego Batman movie is a pretty good movie. Really recommend watching it. It's a fun movie. Uh, next one up is the Nutcracker in, in the film The Four Realms. Now, I haven't seen this movie yet. I heard kind of mixed things about it, more on the negative side, but. It kind of looks like a charming Disney movie. I'm just expecting it to be fine. Like, looks kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's bad, but who knows? Um, uh, you got your blue light disc, digital copy code. And your DVD disc. Um, so. The Nutcracker in the film. Four Realms. It might be all right. Uh, who knows though. Now the last one in this part. I, um, is Hunter Killer. Starring Jawab. Jar. Jar. Excuse me for a second, Jar Bower and Gary Oldman. Um, this looks like a decent action flick. Um, Cymbeline Fower type of film. This looks like a dumb, fun action flick. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. So you got your blue light disc and DVD disc, digital copy code. It's 
So that's it for part uh, five. My Blue Way collection, yes. Uh, part six. Part six will be uploaded soon afterwards. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Uh,